And hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Okay, so today we're going to make a traffic light with Delphi. So we're going to be basically be changing up a bunch of uh, properties of all of these things when um, with code. So yeah, let's get right into it. So let's create a nice GUI for it. Because here in the book they give us a few, they give us what we should do. So we're going to be uh, seeing what we should do and then we will be continuing. So let's see, the button's height should be 100. That's mostly what I wanted. Okay, so let's get the height. The rest we will do ourselves because I know how to do that. So let me explain to you after I've changed the height. Okay, now these we want to be as we want to have as circles because the traffic lights use circles and not squares or at least here they use circles so let's first change these to circles um, circle circle and circle so here we are completely leaving the book uh, we'll just be completing command like um, make sure the circle turns on and stuff. So first off, we want to change this background of the form. We want to make it black because, you know, they are black. There. So then we can just uh, make the color black. We can actually do that while in the code, but let's rather not. Okay, so now if we run, I'm going to run it, nothing special is going to happen, but it will look more like a traffic light. There we go. So you can actually make it like the green goes on, then yellow, then red, and you don't have to actually press the buttons, but we're going to press a button, then this light will come on and stuff like that. So let's give them all names. This will be SHP red for shape red. then we have the buttons so first let's change their names before we change anything else so this one going to be btn red so now we can change their caption by doing that And there, the design is actually ready, somewhat. So, we want to see these. We don't want to make them black just yet. We want to still be able to see them in the design. So, we're going to click on the form, and go to events, and then on activate. We're going to change the color of the shapes. So, when the form activates, we want BTN green to be the color that we'll be showing. So uh, let's change everything inside of the code here. So then we go um, SHP green access. Uh, okay, cool. SHP green dot Let me quickly see. So it's SHP green F12. Click here. What's the color change? Dot brush. Okay. So this is a nice way for if you can't remember, you can go look here. You can click on it. Look at an object. Speaker. So search dot brush and then dot color. This is a very useful thing to remember. So I suggest you do remember it. So it's dot dot brush dot color becomes CL green. No, that should be correct. 
let's see if it works because if it does work wait let's first save the game because if we save the game we know we won't lose anything so let's go first save save all Alright, so now that we've saved everything, let's run it. And see, if it's green, then we're doing everything correctly. It's green, we're doing it right. So now we can make the rest black, because we don't want them to be seen. So what we can do is we can type all of this over, but that's going to be effort. So let's be lazy and copy it. So then we go SHP yellow, and then red. Then we go, with both of them, we can go CL black and then here as well we can go cl black now they shouldn't be seeable from when we run it perfect so now you can only see this but clicking on buttons doesn't do anything just yet which is not good because we want to them to work correctly so these are pretty simple stuff um, but I'm still going to do it with you guys, just so you guys can see. So, let's take that away. Now first we're going to do green. But green is actually already on, so we want to see if our code actually works. So we're going to go red first. Now, I'm just going to copy this and paste it there. Now, what we can do is we can retype it or maybe put in specific parameters, but that's a lot of effort and you don't really need to do it so we can just go cl black and in here in red we can go cl red that saved us a lot of time and a lot of unnecessary coding so now if you press on red it works almost perfectly so let's just quickly fix the design here because that's really annoying looking at that the whole time there we go. Ah, that's going to look so much better. I'm going to put this more into the middle of everything instead of at the top, you know. And then we can bring... Then, then we can bring this up closer. And there we go. We have a beautiful traffic light. But we are not done yet. So we're going to go here. We're going to paste it again. And we can even... This is not good practice. You first finish the code, you're actually working with so then follow this one but then we can open green as well first finish your code because otherwise you're going to get confused and it's not going to be nice damn it like okay, let's copy this let's paste it here so this one is already actually done so we don't have to worry about this one and this one on the other hand is not done so we can just go cl black and then we can go here cl yellow now, as far as I know, this should do everything that is required. So you have green, if you click on it, nothing happens. Yellow, red, yellow, green. As you can see, they all work perfectly now. And that wasn't too hard now, was it? It's very basic code. If you can understand this, then I can guarantee you, you'll understand what's coming on in the next video. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.